when you're trying to identify origin, you're looking at the way the crystal structure was formed. You're looking at the internal inclusions. You're looking at everything related to that sapphire. And based off of different trace elements, based off of the way the gem was, you know, developed or born in the host rock, we can tell whether it's igneous rock. We can tell whether it's marble host rock. We can decide and discuss how different sapphires and rubies are born in most cases. This particular stone has been one of those confusing types that multiple gemologists have certified this as Burma. Some have certified it as Kashmir, but I can tell you honestly, this is 100% from my collection of less than five stones that I've ever gotten out of Madagascar that basically look like cashmere sapphire. It has identical to the color of the cashmere sapphire that sells for over 200,000 a carat at auction. The crystallization is remarkable. I could have got a cert that stated Sri Lanka, Burma, or cashmere sapphire. I said, but wait a minute, I'm gonna call it as it is. I got the stone out of Madagascar. I was there when they pulled it out of the deposit. There are very few stones like this, even out of Madagascar that hit this level. So I took it over to the GIA at the GIA, we basically determined certified blue unheated natural good color all that type of stuff but we agreed to leave the origin off the certificate because even them they were confused whether it was sri lankan or whether what what was it exactly and i told them point blank it's a madagascar stone but the characteristics within this stone don't show madagascar they show a different type of material material that it grows in a different structure so it's constantly confused for something else and that's the situation with this sapphire now you got a 2.59 carat amazing color good sparkle typical textbook what a cashmere sapphire would look like in the highest quality you know you've got the internal velvety effect within that stone as well you got 1.31 carats of deep flawless diamonds a lot of 10 pointers surrounding that sapphire as well so a significant amount of diamonds coming in at close to the you know nine and a half k just for the mount but that sapphire is rare and for somebody who likes to collect the anomalies of what confuses the gemological world it's the way it is remember gemologists get stones handed to them and they've got to analyze those stones and figure out their origin so it's not always a perfect art and there is always stones that are created in the earth's crust that basically end up in people's collections at some point but it's very hard to determine whether those stones are from this locale or that locale. So we got to give a little bit of room to the gemologist. That's why I asked them, just don't put origin. It doesn't matter. For Dawn's Club members, you are buying a super gem quality cashmere color sapphire, and you're paying the price that I paid in Madagascar back in the day. So you've, you've, You've won regardless. You've won regardless. This sapphire could be heated and you wouldn't be able to replace it at this price. That is a fact because you're in the Dons Club. But the quality is there. The fire is there. The sparkle is there. And the beauty is there.